Hello guys, today I'm gonna to be talking about the necessary tools to making a correct treatment plan. I don't wanna overwhelm you guys, but it's fairly easy. So number one, we definitely have to look at your mouth directly from a clinical point of view. Somewhere where we can inspect, we can look at the teeth directly, feel the surfaces of the teeth, and obviously go from there. A CT scan is a tool that we use a lot in implant dentistry, for root canals, for just general checkup. We can analyze an image in one dimension um, as a picture or a normal x-ray. This is a panoramic x-ray, for example. But what we wanna see is what's inside the thickness of the bone, inside a tooth, where the canals of a nerve go. So we analyze by scan or by slices. Here's a cool example. The muffin, we can see the image. We can see the muffin looks really good. It's a little weird. I don't know why, but by cutting it, we can now see what's inside. So these are the slices that we look for in a CT scan or a tomography. So then we may take some impressions to duplicate your bite, your teeth into a model. And look, get closer. This is an articulated model of a patient. And as you can see, it is very precise very close to what the patient has in his mouth. So we use this to analyze outside the mouth, outside and after your appointment, the structures, the remaining structures sometimes, uh, teeth decay, shapes, um, inclinations, and maybe even bite, as you can see here. This goes side by side with pictures, pictures that we take on that appointment and they're very, very useful to diagnose and plan correctly. As you can see here, I'm gonna show you a few here. This allows us to go back and check important things like the color of the gum tissues, the color of a certain tooth that may be darker than others or if there's a cavity a small cavity that we didn't take note on that first appointment and this obviously helps us keep a record of for future changes we may go back and say wow it got better or it got worse so all these tools are necessary all these steps are necessary to making a correct treatment plan um, and even like that, even with all those tools, sometimes biology interferes and doesn't let us um, move on as we want it. So considering that now we have all these things, we regroup and we analyze all those little details together with you and then we move on to make a treatment plan. So just as an architect needs his blueprints for his construction, we need these tools for our restorations. Well guys, uh, that was what I wanted to comment today. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.